Okay, trying to make this as quick as I can, I promise. This video, I want to first thank really quick my support group members for making me feel so loved and appreciated and um, keeping me company while I was having real issues with my epilepsy and I was stuck in bed for a few days. So I love you guys. Love and light and have a seizure-free day, week, and as long as you possibly can. And Vincent especially, I love you. Thank you so, so much and happy two years. Okay. Moving on, this video is going to be about forgiveness and um, personal space and respecting yourself. Okay, so I'm not going to say something that I haven't practiced myself. Everything in life is a practice. Everything. It's a lesson. It's a practice. Every obstacle you go through, you're going to have to learn something new. You can either learn from it. Or suffer from it. And life is too short to suffer from it. Just learn, move on, and deal with it in however way you need to. If somebody is hurting you, if somebody's causing you pain, you have a choice. You can either remove them from your life, you can keep them there and continue to be in pain, you can do what I tend to do. I tend to say, give me a day. Take a step back, really assess the situation and see your side and their side. And then the next day, talk about it. Don't hold it in. You talk about it. You let them know what they're doing. And you see what they say. You ask them why they're doing what they're doing. And then see whether, you know, you should remain friends or even if it's family, you know, Life is too short to keep toxic um, people or experiences in your life. Um, but that's how I deal with things. I take a minute and then I deal with it because I hate confrontation. And yelling at somebody about something is going to be absolutely ridiculous and pointless because then everybody gets angry and nobody is rational and things get said that really shouldn't be said and nobody means it. Now, situations. If you're in a place, in a relationship that is toxic to you, find a way out of that situation instead of constantly complaining about it. Remove yourself from it. If you are um, going through depression, anxiety, um, instead of constantly complaining about it, go to a doctor and try to fix it. Do some meditation, do some yoga. Um, I know it's difficult. I have depression, I have anxiety, I have epilepsy. Because I spoke to my doctors, um, I am on an anti-epilepsy medication as well as an antidepressant it thank god thank god i was so suicidal so suicidal i tried to kill myself twice and look at me now look at the person i am i do all kinds of things to help myself stay grounded i go to classes i i read books to help keep myself sane and to learn different things and ways and practices to keep me grounded and on a level that I could help other people. And that's what I do with my life because I do have limitations and I accept those limitations and I learn from those limitations and I adapt. There are things that you can't control and you cannot change. So you have to find the I can in the I can't and the ability in the disability. You cannot focus on the negative. You have to do your best to focus on the positive. Yin and yang, there are negatives, but from those negatives are also a positive. Because I can't work, I have time to use my disability in a positive way. I can help others in the same situation that I'm in. And that is what I do with my life. I help people and I love it. I love every second of it. Now, 
I just got out of a five-year marriage. I moved from my apartment. Those are situations that I can change, and I did. I helped my depression, changed it. Now, I challenge you to change a situation that is difficult to change. It wasn't easy to change a marriage. Think about it. I have no income right now. The disability hasn't kicked in yet, so I have no income. Do you think that was easy for me to leave a situation where I had stability? No, it wasn't easy. I'm living with my parents now. You know how hard that is to go from some kind of independence to living with mommy and daddy again, putting myself in that situation? I'm 30 years old. That's not easy for me. But I did it because it put me in a better situation where I was safer. And no, he did not beat me. No, it wasn't that kind of thing. But where we were living was not good. He was a truck driver, so I was always home alone. And it just, it wasn't a good situation for me. Now, as far as friendships... I always make sure I do the right thing by my friendships. I just had an issue with that. Um, somebody said something to me that really, really hurt me. And I took a day. I spoke to them. And I learned that they didn't mean to say it. It was still hurtful for me. It's not something that I'm going to forget. And I'm going to give them another chance. But if they do hurt me again, they're gone. They're gone. It's done. And as for family, a long, 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 long time ago, somebody did something to hurt me. Gone. Gone. You cannot keep toxic situations in your life. You have to remove it. Life is way too short. It is way too short. You have to lead with love. You have to also lead with love for yourself. First and foremost, you come first. You're number one. Life is too short. I say that over and over again on purpose because I want it to stick. Life is too short. You have to do what's best for you. You have to surround yourself with people that are positive, that are going to make you positive, that's going to make you the best version of you. So, love and light to you all. And if you have epilepsy and you feel alone and misunderstood, please contact me and I will get you set up with my epilepsy support group online. These people are absolutely fabulous. They make me a better person every day. They're absolutely creative. They have blogs and vlogs, even better than mine. Oh my God, they're absolutely fantastic. So um, please contact me, don't be by yourself. Um, and I love you all. I really, really do. Sending you love and light. Please be seizure-free. And, um, yeah, take care.